Psalm 18, verses 1 through 6, a David song, which he sang to God after being saved from all his enemies and from Saul. I love you, God. You make me strong. God is bedrock under my feet, the castle in which I live, my rescuing knight. My God, the high crag where I run for dear life, hiding behind the boulders, safe in the granite hideout. I sing to God the praise lofty and find myself safe and saved. The hangman's noose was tight at my throat. Devil waters rushed over me. Hell's rope cinched me tight. Death traps barred every exit. A hostile world. I call to God. I cry to God to help me. From his palace, he hears my call. My cry brings me right into his presence, a private audience. Father, thank you for making me strong. You are truly the bedrock under my feet, the castle in which I live, my rescuing knight. When I call to you, you save me settling my heart with a peace that passes understanding. No matter the enemies around me, you remind me of your word. Three times in one week, three different locations, three different teachers, you taught me Deuteronomy chapter 20, verses 1 through 4. When you go to war against your enemy and see horses and chariots and soldiers far outnumbering you, do not recoil in fear of them. God, your God, who brought you up out of Egypt, is with you. When the battle is about to begin, let the priest come forward and speak to the troops. He'll say, Attention, Israel. In a few minutes, you're going to do battle with your enemies. Don't waver in resolve. Don't fear. Don't hesitate. Don't panic. God, your God, is right there with you fighting with you against your enemies, fighting to win. This was 20 years ago, and every time things seem overwhelming, you fill my mind with the memory so vividly that I can hear their voices, I can see their faces, I can still remember sitting in amazement that my hearing you is not based on my ability to hear, but on your ability to make sure I know. This amazing love and devotion saturate my heart and penetrate my every cell. Without exception, every part of me is made aware of your presence. And it is just you and me.